Outer Worlds Ventures founding members, cl members clockwise from left. Hornfells, Ghost, and Slate and Feldspar. So Slate's one of the founding members. And Gosen. Familiar names. Big thanks to these additional founding members of Outer Wilds Ventures, without whom would never have gotten off the ground. Matthew Steinhauer, Batten, Ether, and Quirty up the pie. These are pre either. Yeah. Oh, hang on a minute. That's a YouTuber. <laughs> yeah, these are either special thanks or Kickstarter backers. Probably special thanks that are more specific. Because that's a very short list for Kickstarter. And it features a YouTuber, as they often do. This remarkably intact statue was carved by the Nomai, an ancient species who dwell in our solar system thousands of years ago. The statue provides with, the, with our most detailed look of the Nomai, who appear to have been covered in a layer of fur. Note the decorative jewelry that has been carved as part of the antlers. Although the artifacts and structures have been found on almost every planet in the solar system, we still have no idea where the species came from or what happened to them. Hmm. So that's the Forerunner species. The inevitable one. Watch them turn out to be humans or something. And that's based on and that's just based on like some Egyptian glyph or a legend or something that was being taken as liter less literal. Hey, hey, it's my favorite astronaut. Launch day at last, huh, buddy? It's the translator's tool. It's the translator tool's inaugural flight, too, so I'm excited. It's make I'm so excited. It's making me nauseous. Just think, you'll be able to translate any Nomai text you want anywhere you are. The two of us put a lot of hours in inventing that tool, so don't break it, okay? <laughs> oh, jeez. Do not break it. Uh, ignore me, okay? I'm just nervous. And I'm not even the one going into space. How are you feeling? I'm terrified. Ah, oh, don't let it make you nervous. Don't let me make you nervous. You've been training for this day since we were hatchlings. Remember, you'll do great. I promise. So what's the dirt? You, you here to see the new Nomai statue? Of course. Heh. <laughs> I knew you'd want to be, see it before you headed off. Uh, Hornfells just finished prepping it for display today. Amazing, isn't it? Makes me wish we could see what a real-life Nomai look like, but I guess this is as close as we'll ever get. Check it out. It looks like they had fur. Fur is weird. This is the first fully intact statue we've ever found. You know, for how old it is, it's in great shape. Aw, oh, jeez. I got a little carried away there. Go on. You have a ship to launch. Take care of yourself out there, you hear? Like One, one, of, my, one of the sci-fi ideas I always like is just the idea of, like, discovering long-lost culture or being the long-lost culture that gets discovered and just, like, fictional aspects of records being taken as literal and non-fiction. Be kind of a funny idea. Where'd the statue come from? From Giant's Deep. Gabbro finished, uh, fished it out of the oceans and brought it back here for study. Hornfells don't know much about it yet. Just that it's crazy old and super tough. I wonder why the Namai carved it. Apparently, Gabra went back to Giant's Deep to try to learn more about the statue. Maybe they'll find some answers there. Where can I find Gabro? Gabra said they were going back to Giant's Deep, or to wherever they found that Namai statue. One of the islands, I think. You remember Gabro plays a flute, right? Like, all the time? I bet your signal scope could find them easily. Ah. If I want to find Gabro, use my signal scope at Giant's, Be at Giant's Deep. I feel like I should write this down. Whipping out some notepaper. Gonna write Gabro. Giants Deep. Loot. Signal. Scope. And we'll see if that ever comes up again. Yeah. Stay put. There you go. 
If you do see Gabbro, say hi for me. Why did the Nomai make this statue? Good question. So Gabbro found this fully intact statue, a giant steep, right? Well, Hornfells told me it's made from the same type of special stone that that, that statue fragment Chert. Chert! Yay! <laughs> The, the, it's the specific thing that I've named multiple characters after. There's a Chert in this game. Chert brought back from the Hourglass Twins. So one of the one of the explorers is named Chert. That's great. We know the stone from Chert's fragment can store information. That's why some of the stone from that statue fragment was repurposed for your ship's computer. Maybe the statues are made from storing information too. Think I'll discover anything cool in space? Said, asked the stupid person. Hey, you never know. Maybe you'll be the one to solve the mysteries of the Nomai. Or maybe they'll discover some you'll discover some new kind of rock or something. But honestly, as long as you don't end up naming new scientific equipment after you, I'm sure you'll have done a great job. Well, that was it. No problem. Take it easy. Hal. Is your name Hal because your name is short for Halite? I don't think Hal is a rock, but I know Halite is. I think I can decode their names. That's the thing that looked like it blew up a moment ago, so that's worrying. Oh! Maybe it didn't. It looks like it launches stuff. Look at that. Is there a sign pointing at what this thing is? Nope. Oh. There's balls over here. Watch closely. These balls move on their own. The ground is, is perfectly level, so what do you think causes this spooky motion? The answer is the moon. As it orbits our planet, the outer rock's gravity pulls on objects from distant directions. In fact, it's pulling on you right now. This is like a time turner. Not time turner, that's the time travel thing from Harry Potter. But this thing uh, signifies the moon cycle. And the planet cycle in combination? A little confusing. Maybe not, maybe not as useful directly as I thought. What is this? That's trippy. Looks like space glass. Strange rock moving around in this grotto appears to react to... The strange rock moving around in this grotto appears to react to conscious observation. The level headed us among us realized there must be some sort of optical illusion at play, but Gavro claims the rock exists in all possible states until it's observed, whatever that means. Whatever is actually happening, both sides of this debate agree the effect is extremely creepy. Oh, you made me look down to read that. I'm gonna look up and it's not there, isn't it? Yeah, that's not an, opti that's not an optical illusion. That's creepy. <laughs> Right, I have to face in directions where it can relocate itself. So if I keep an eye on this one, it has to teleport to the other one. So you can actually control which one it teleports to. Oh boy. Okay. Stars like our sun generate light and heat by fusing hydrogen into helium. As it grows older, the star runs out of hydrogen and starts to contract. As the star's core contracts, it gets hotter, causing the outer layers to expand. The star has become a red giant. When the core is hot enough, it starts to fuse helium into carbon. This is just actually uh, this is just actually educational. If a star is massive enough, it will continue to fuse carbon into even heavier elements like iron. Ultimately, the star will collapse under its own gravity and then explode in a violent event called a supernova. Based on Chirp's observations, that this will one day be the fate of our own sun. Hmm. This is the third game I've played that features a character named Chert, but this is the first time that they're named Chert because the game actually named them Chert and not because they named the main, one of the main characters Chert. Look at that. Those are like ruins, right? This game's so pretty. This crystal was taken from a Nomai ruin on Brittle Hollow. It seems to create a local gravity distortion that was most likely used to traverse steep surfaces. Try it out. Wait. Hang on. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, 
Okay, well that's trippy. They avoid the part where you get a little bit of a motion sick, weird balance feel problem, like in the first Prey game from like 13 years ago, by making it so that your perspective doesn't change. So you look in the same direction and your body just kind of shifts to the new spot. And then, you, then you're like, oh, I'm staring at the floor. As opposed to like going... Which, yeah, that's a more or less an accurate representation of what it was like to play Prey. I don't know, something, something made my head feel, almost, feel, almost feel lightheaded or something when I would walk up like the curvy walls in that game and it'd be like, uh, uh, oh god, what's happening? Ah! And then, the, then they had the balls to have that stuff, the teleporters and the grant gravity in the multiplayer, which is a lot. The secondary sign for the same place. Well, you're creepy. This anglerfish specimen was found attached to landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to Dark Brandle. It appears well suited to living in dark places with mineral atmosphere. No! Don't subnautica me. Don't tell me that there's evil ocean monsters in the space that I'm going into. That's not a good setup for me. That's not a good sign. But the my technology brought back from space by our, engine, our, by our astronauts has been a great boon to Outer Wilds Ventures, allowing us to modify expedition gear in exciting and useful ways. For example, the little scout now boasts a warp retrieval uh, capability, capability that allows astronauts to recall their scouts almost instantly. This has dramatically reduced the number of scouts lost in the depths of space. Hmm. We have teleport technology. Uh That appears to be a Nomai and an anglerfish? I think. Or just more wait, no, that's a that's a pelvis, not a fish head. What you see here are parts of the Nomai skeleton. We can tell from their skulls that they possessed antlers and, quite unusually, only three eyes. Right, right. Right, it's only three eyes for you guys. Right, that's... an interesting distinction. The Namai body was most likely adapted for living exclusively on land. The differences in Nomai's anatomy, such as their shockingly fragile bone structure, shows us that Herthians couldn't have descended from Nomai Nomaian ancestors. It's not clear where the Nomai originated from, or why they disappeared. We hope to find out more clues to this puzzle as we explore our solar system. I... I mean, bone density can change over time. There's a type of bird that I was hearing about that basically had to densify the shit out of its bones in order to be able to make music with the with its bones on its wings and vibrate them in a way that makes sound that attracts mates and as a result they've essentially lost or significantly damaged their ability to fly because you know birds having hollow bones is kind of a big deal and they they evolved back to not having hollow bones which is bizarre they're not moving right now I thought they were moving faster before Aside from the dwellings and structures they built, the Namai also made art. This decorated pottery was di discovered on Brittle Hollow. Some ancient Namai art depicts strange animals, foreign celestial objects, and other subjects that can't be found in our solar system. Which makes us wonder whether the Namai originated from elsewhere in the universe or simply had vibrant imaginations. Were the Namai born in our solar system? Or were they born among the stars and planets? And if they were, how and why did they come here? These are just some of the questions we hope to answer through further Xeno-Archaeological Expeditions, which is a mouthful of a word. Whoa! Hi. Untranslated no my writing. Alright. Whoa. Oh, they their writing is made of fractals. Cassava. We're nearly ready. 
Felix and I have finished construction, and she says calibrating the device won't take long. Felix. Fortunately, the Adarok's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our search. What the hell? That's a really inefficient way of writing if it takes all of that just to make that text pop up. Unless they have a printer? That's the only thing I can think of is maybe they have a device that prints the stuff directly onto surfaces. So it's like a QR code. So obviously any message in a QR code would be easier to just write by hand. But a device could, uh, could just like a QR code onto something potentially. Can't, can't translate that. This piece of Namai writing was essential, essential to deciphering their unique language. Although this text is linear, Namai text often branches off from a certain point. Interestingly, each branch tends to be written by a different author. So it's like they're responding to a different part of the message, like a specific part. This is bizarre. Hmm. A lot of technology reminiscent of what you'd expect somewhat, but a lot of the stuff around here seems to be just like... How do I put it? It's like all the stuff that is being used implies they have different resources available entirely. In particular, they, like, they have, there's some rare uses of, of metal around here, but tons of wood. Oh, there's like a flicker. Tons of wood, tons of cloth. Makes me think they maybe don't have access to like concrete because they don't seem to use it anywhere. Hornfell's observations. This is incredible. At first I thought the points of light in this image were stars, but they're not. They're galaxies. And this image covers just a tiny patch of the whole sky, which means the universe contains at least a thousand times more galaxies than we previously imagined. I... I think I need to sit down. Hmm. This is odd. According to my redshift calculations, every single galaxy in this image is moving away from us. In fact, the farther away a galaxy is, the faster it appears to be moving away. It's almost as if the entire universe is expanding. But if that's true, was everything closer together in the past? And how far back can we extrapolate? Did the universe have a beginning? Oh, he's developing like a Big Bang Theory. Their entire writing style is just a bunch of vertical lines. Of different placements and heights. How in the world does that work? Huh. Whoa. There was no warning that was going to happen. Holy crap. Oh, there's a little grid? Yeah. Little grid system. So here's Brittle Hollow and Hollow's Lantern. Oh yeah, we've heard about that. So when they're talking about Hollow's Lantern, they're talking about this glowing moon made of magma. Brittle Hollow does look pretty brittle. Timber Hearth, and the Adarok. There's the moon we've heard about. And it really shows how small these planets are. You can see the individual crater that we're in. There's other craters on the same planet. Huh. I see one up there. Huh. Dark Bramble. It looks like some massive, like, some sort of massive plant structure. Yeah, like some kind of incredibly huge life form, like hive mind from Halo or something, grew inside the planet and then split it all open from the inside. Now it's holding pieces of the planet outward. 
Looks like a, looks like it could be this the next location for like the next grow home and uh game. Giants Deep. This is where Gabro is. Ah. That looks like one of those satellite things we saw before, and it looks broken. That might be the one I saw that's broken, except it's on the same wrong planet. But we seem to have a similar orbit, so maybe I'm just maybe I was seeing that thing orbiting around Giants Deep. I might I might have line of sight for that. Meanwhile, the fact that these things are so small actually means I can probably fully explore them, like No Man's Sky style. Except there's pro except they're probably pre-made levels that are handcrafted, so they're you know, worth exploring and not just an infinite procedurally generated nonsense thing that I don't have much reason to care about. There's the Ash Twin and Ember Twin. There's twin planets orbiting around each other, sharing an orbit, basically. That is very unusual. Okay, so everything pretty much shares an orbit. Not shares an orbit, sorry, because that, that would imply they're in an orbit together. But everything pretty much... Look at this one. Can you go there? It looks like there's something broke, like fiery over here. Huh. Yeah, all of them seem to be in, in sync with each other a bit. So it's not so hard to... No, these guys are kind of taking off, huh? Uh, I think I just looked at an opportune time that made it seem that way. Because it definitely seemed like you could easily hop between them, like they were all kind of following each other. This thing's trippy. Oh cool, they've got these things carved out. Oh, the bright thing I saw in the distance has an orbit that goes all the way around the outside. Yeah. So it goes from being the outermost to being the innermost, like, like a comet. Whoa, is a grand conjunction happening right now? No. Ah, uh, so this thing does not match. For a moment there, they were all perfectly lined up. Uh, that, that, was, that, that was a cool little moment. It's gone. Apparently it's taken me multiple days to get my ass up here, but I guess... That, it meant, that might not mean that I actually have taken hours and hours and hours, it might just be that days are really quick on this planet. Like, really quick. There's Hornfells. I thought Horn... I totally thought it was multiple people because of the plural sounding name. There you are. I just finished pre pre flight observations and local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. And you'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with a Nomai translator tool. I confess I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. We are better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Nomai. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. Tell me, what's your plan once you're out in space? I want to meet up with the other travelers. You're going to check in on them, are you? Not a bad plan. No one knows the solar system better than our astronauts. Let's see. Chert is on the Hourglass Twins. Let's write this down. Ow. What a great time to have just written... Uh, just dropped my uh, pen. Alright. So church is at the Hourglass Twins. Re... Beck... is on... Brittle Hollow. And Gabro's on Giants Deep, last I checked. So just three people, and we already knew where Gabro was. We even knew how to potentially find them. Maybe you can find them all that way? And, well... There's Feldspar, obviously, but, of course, we don't know where they are, or even if they're alive. I'm gonna guess that they're on the nightmarish Lovecraftian tree planet. Feldspar's been lost for a very long time, I'm afraid. On a more cheerful note, you'll find Esker stationed on the Adarok. They're not a traveler so much as a lunar local, but I'm sure they'll appreciate a visit nonetheless. Well then, looks like that's all that's left to send you off. All in all, it's a fine day for a launch. I'm ready to die in space. 
I'm not one for superstition, but isn't that kind of unlock isn't it kind of unlucky to say before a launch? At any rate, here are the launch codes. Try not to worry so much. Our ships are every bit as safe as slates could be persuaded to make them. That's uh, level of trust I should be worried about then. Best of luck out there. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Launch codes. Dot 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 da dot da dot 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 dot. Hmm. Long, 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 short, short, long, short. If it's anything like Morse code, perhaps? Oh boy. <laughs> oh, that's really trippy. Um. Okay, you're screwing with me, right? Oh. Wait, that's everything I just did. You're... Of course there's no witnesses. That was a recording of everything I've done so far. They've got goat eyes. Its eyes opened. Is it, are you a save point? Is that what you are? You just recorded everything that I've done. I've already read this one. Uh. Hey. Buddy, where you at? Something crazy just happened? Where'd you go? Oh, you, you just had to... Just had to look away, huh? Hey, hey! So you get a good look at the Nomai statue? The statue looked at me and opened its eyes. Whoa, whoa, the statue was doing what? So its eyes opened and you saw images from your own memories and glowing lights flying around? You mean like a hallucination? Listen. No offense, but... Are you sure you're okay to launch? Like... Medically speaking. No, that statue is definitely weird. I mean, if you're saying it happened, then... I guess maybe it did, but why? Hornfels tried to get... Tried everything to get the statue's eyes to open. And nothing like this ever happened to them. I don't think you're gonna get any answers from the museum statue, but... Gabru said they were going back to Giant's, D Giant's Deep to know what which island they're on, though. Maybe they'd be able to tell you more? On the other hand, Gabro's... You know... Gabro. So, maybe you'd be better off searching for more information on your own. Jeez. Now I'm really jealous you're going to space. Hey, see if you can use our translator tool to find out more about the statue, okay? Good luck. Safe flying. Did it move back? Dude, it hasn't even moved back. Come over here and look at it. This is really easy to verify at the fact that it happened. Because I came from that direction and did that. So it's, it clearly moved and opened its eyes. Dude, just come over. Nope. That's that. Where does all the water come from going since we've been to the core? Where does that tunnel lead to make it do that? Now I'm all curious. I also don't know much of, much about geysers. I know how how artesian wells work. A geyser might be a high force version of that. I don't know. I've never studied studied geysers specifically. I know an artesian well is just the fact that there's a there's a water table, uh, just in general. Like most places you go, there's some kind of water table, which is the horizontal top layer of where the water is in the ground. And if it, it's usually under the ground, but it can be above the ground, which is what a, a lake is or the ocean, technically, I suppose. Uh, but an artesian well is what you do, what you get if they, you have a a non-permeable like floor layer. 
Like the ground is just solid so water doesn't come out of it. But as it turns out, the water table is higher than the ground currently is. Which means that it would the water would be there if it could reach there. But the but like there's a bunch of water built up underneath, but it can't reach go, go through the ground. So if you poke a hole in the ground, basically water will just flow out of it. A free flowing well above this it because uh, a normal well is a hole you you dig in the ground where the water table is below the surface of the ground. So you have to go down to the water table to get the water, and that's how wells are. People generally understand what a well is, but. If you do that in a place where the water table is technically higher than the ground, it'll just come spewing out, basically. And you get an artesian well. Hephra. Hello, astronaut. You going to space today? Are you going into space and never coming back like Feldspar did? What? Yeah, uh... Hornfell said Feldspar went away into space and didn't come back. Hornfell says Feldspar was the best pilot ever, but no one believe But no one knows what happened to them. Hornfels probably shouldn't be telling you stuff like this. Hornfell says that too. But if Feldspar disappeared, you might disappear too, right? You're not as good as Feldspar. So you should probably be really careful not to get lost. Uh, music just cuts out for a nice distressing moment of, Hey! You ready to die, bro? You're gonna die. Here comes your death. There's some weird asset culling going on over there. Hey, we've gotten full circle back to our OG dude. How you doing, buddy? Looks like you're ready to take off. The excitement of a launch is fun and all, but I can't wait to get back to working on the new ship. Working on fixing the autopilot's avoidance system for this one. Um, sorry. So, I don't have an autopilot avoidance system? Oh no. It seems like we have houses around here, so we must have just been having like a last day on this planet outdoorsy camping session for fun or something. Seems like it. Alright. Oh, I don't have to enter them manually. What could go wrong? What a cool looking planet. Oh wow, yeah, from up here you can see the curvature of the planet. Yeah. Because every single thing include like that, that, that thing... I, I was, uh... That, that thing was level when I was on it. But from here it's tilted like crazy. And every part of the rim of the crater around me looks like it's tilted backwards away from me. Because of the curvature being so exaggerated. Oh boy. I mean, now it's been hyped up for an hour, so this has, like, gravity to it. Pun. 